Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful and super easy beanie hat. Uh, this hat is a bottom-up hat and we should first make the brim of the hat and then start the body around the long edge of the brim. And uh, I made that for child size, but uh, this uh, pattern is uh, adjustable for each size you want. And the body of this hat is made by repeating two rounds only. And this pattern is so stretchy and so nice. You can make it for each size you want. Uh, I uh, used a worsted weight yarn and 4.5 millimeters hook for the brim and 5 millimeters hook for the body. If you're ready, let's get started. Start the brim of the hat with smaller hook and make one slip knot, then make 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And these chains determine the height of your brim. Skip the first chain and make one single crochet into second chain, then make one single crochet into the next, and one single crochet into the next chain and continue this work. We should make one single crochet into each chain across. Now row one is finished. I have nine stitches. Make one chain, turn the work and start row two. For the first stitch, we should make one uh, single crochet into the first stitch of previous row on the, uh, under these two loops. And then make one single crochet into back loop of next stitch, not under two loops of that. Okay, insert the hook here into back loop of the next stitch only. Make one single crochet again, one single crochet into back loop of next stitch one single crochet into back loop only and continue this work. We should make a back loop only single crochet into each of these middle stitches. And now for last stitch, insert the hook under two loops of that again, such as the beginning stitch and make one single crochet. Now make one chain and turn the work and start row three. Uh, for making row 3, we should repeat row 2. One single crochet under two loops of first stitch here. And one single crochet into back loop from next stitch from these two loops here. Again, repeat that work. One single crochet into back loop of next stitch. And continue this work for each of the next middle stitches. And now for last stitch, go under two loops of that, make one single crochet, one chain, turn the work, and again repeat row two. Actually, we should repeat row two several times, and in each row make one single crochet under two loops of first and last stitch, and one single crochet into a back loop of um, seven middle stitches, okay? Repeat row two in a multiple of five because of the pattern of the body and continue making these uh, rows of single crochets until the length of this band reaches the desired circumference and uh, fits around of your head. Okay, now I have 60 rows of single crochets. That's enough. Uh, I should uh, fold the band in half and join two edges of that together. Make one chain and then insert the hook under two loops of first stitch here and then go to first stitch of row one. Grab the yarn and pull through and then pull through this loop on the hook. Again, insert the hook under two loops of next stitch and into next stitch of row one and join them together with one slip stitch. One more time. 
Join next stitch of last row and first row together with slip stitch and repeat that work. We should attach all stitches of last row to front stitches from row 1 with slip stitches. And now, after joining all stitches, turn the band and you can see this invisible join and these slip stitches uh, are placed inside the work. And now uh, I have one circle with this band and I should start the body around this edge, remove the hook and with larger hook make one chain and one single crochet here into this space then make one single crochet under these two loops from the last stitch of first row of the brim here and hide this tail through the work then go at top of next row of the brim this row into this hole make one single crochet and again one single crochet under these two loops at top of next row and one single crochet into this hole at top of next row of the brim and repeat that work one single crochet under these two loops and one single crochet into this hole continue this work and make one single crochet per each row of the brim and at the end the number of stitches should be equal to the number of rows now make one slip stitch at top of first single crochet and the first round of the body is finished start round two with three chains as one double crochet and then make another double crochet into same stitch after that make two chains and make two double crochet into next space one and two then skip one two and three stitches and make two double crochet into next stitch one and two again chain two two double crochet into next stitch and skip one two and three stitches one more time two double crochet into the next one and two two chains two double crochet into the next and skip one two and three stitches and repeat that work make two double crochet into next stitch two chains two double crochet into the next and skip next three stitches and repeat this sequence until the end at the end of round two skip the last three stitches and make one uh, slip stitch into third chain of beginning chains now turn the work to wrong side and then make one slip stitch at top of this first double crochet and one slip stitch at top of next double crochet and we should start round three from here make one chain and then make one front post double crochet around same stitch yarn over insert dog around the stitch and yarn over pull through two and pull through two go to next chain space and make one v stitch into that one double crochet 
two chains and another double crochet. Then make one front post double crochet around next double crochet. Now skip the last double crochet of this group, the first group, and the first double crochet of next group. Make one front post double crochet around second double crochet of next group, one V stitch into chain space. And one front post double crochet around next double crochet. Again, skip next two stitches, the last double crochet of same group and the first double crochet of next group. Go around the second double crochet of next group, make one front post double crochet, one V stitch into the space, and one front post double crochet around next double crochet. Again, skip next two stitches, the last of same group and the first of next group and go around the second double crochet of next group, one front post double crochet here, one V stitch into the space and one front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And again, skip next two double crochets and continue this work until the end. Okay, at the end, we should skip the last double crochet of the last group and make one slip stitch at top of first front post double crochet. Then turn the work to right side and make one slip stitch at top of first two stitches of previous round and start round four from here. Make one chain, one front post double crochet around the second double crochet of the first group, one V stitch into the space, and one front post double crochet around the next stitch. Skip next two stitches and make one front post around the next, one V stitch into the next space and one front post double crochet around the next stitch. Again, skip next two stitches and repeat that work. We should make one front post double crochet around second stitch of each group and then make one V stitch into the space of each group and after that make one front post double crochet around third stitch of uh, each group and skip next two stitches, the uh, last stitch of same group and the first stitch of next group and continue this sequence until the end. At the end of round four, skip the last stitch of same group, the last group, and make one slip stitch at top of first front post double crochet. Then again, turn the work to wrong side, such as round three, and make one slip stitch at top of first two stitches to start next round from here, and make uh, one front post double crochet around the second uh, stitch of each group one V stitch into the space and one front post around the third stitch and skip the first and the last stitch of each group and at the end again attach to first stitch and turn the work to right side such as round four and we should uh, continue this sequence uh, so uh, repeat these two rounds round three and round four and at the end of each round turn the work in odd rounds turn the work to wrong side of the hat and in uh, even rounds turn the work to right side of that and start next round from the second stitch of uh, previous round. Make a slip stitch into first two stitches and start the round. And continue this work and repeat these two rounds until uh, the height of this hat from here from the start of the brim reach the desired size. Okay, uh, I repeated round three and round four five more times. And now I'm ready to decrease the top of the hat. Uh, for decreasing, we don't need to turn the work to uh, wrong side after last round. And we should uh, start the first round of decrease from here, from this right side. And first make one slip stitch at top of second double crochet. After this uh, joining slip stitch, 
make one slip stitch into second stitch then make one chain and one front post double crochet around the same stitch then skip the next chain two space and we don't need to make a V stitch here then go around next stitch after chain two space and make one front post double crochet around that Now skip next two double crochets, the last of same group and the first of next group. Make one front post double crochet around the second double crochet. Skip next chain to space, don't make V stitch into that. And then make one front post double crochet around the third double crochet. And again skip next two uh, stitches. One more time, one front post double crochet around second stitch of next group. Skip the next chain to space and one front post double crochet around the third stitch and skip next two stitches and continue this work uh, we should make only one front post double crochet around the first and uh, around the second and the third stitch of each group and continue until the end at the end skip the last stitch of last group and make one slip stitch at top of first front post double crochet Then again, uh, don't turn the work and make one chain and work in the uh, same direction. Uh, in this round, we should make one decrease front post half double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook around first two double crochets at the same time. Grab the yarn, pull through and yarn over, pull through three loops on the hook. Again, go around next two front post double crochets at the same time and make one decrease half double crochet and repeat that work and make one front post half double crochet decrease around each of next uh, two stitches until the end of the round okay after making the last decrease front post half double crochet join to first decrease stitch with slip stitch and uh, now this hole at top of my hat become very small. For larger sizes, uh, you can repeat this round of decrease front post half double crochets one more time to have a, a small hole at top of your hat. And now make one chain and leave a long tail, cut the yarn and pull this tail and then turn the work to right uh, to wrong side. And weaving this tail through the uh, first stitch of last round from front to back and then go to next stitch from back to front again insert the needle into next stitch from front to back and then go to the next from back to front and repeat that work and weaving this tail through all stitches of last round and pull the yarn and repeat that work until last stitch now pull the yarn so tightly because I want to close this hole completely and then secure the hole with some stitches now cut the yarn and hide this tail through the stitches and turn the work to right side then you can add a pom-pom at top of your hat now this is my beautiful work you can see this beautiful beanie hat that's so nice and so stretchy you can make it for each size you want and use that I hope this video will be useful for you Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.